Okay, so I went down and got a timber from stockpile, and this is the center of the tree, and I measured this. When I picked this log out of the log pile, it appeared to be, by eye, 16 foot. I got it to the sawmill, started sawing on it, and measured it, and it's 15 foot nine. So I guess I got to buy my logger a new tape because it's three inches too short. The next thing I did was I checked for after I sawed it out to an eight by eight. I discovered that it's nearly broken in half down there, about five feet from this end. Uh, when he dropped the tree, he must have broke it, uh, landing on the ground or hitting some other log or something. But it's still got a four-foot usable piece here and a ten-foot usable piece down the other end. So I'm going to make something out of it instead of just throwing it away for firewood. So I've checked this edge, which is very nice and square, and I've labeled it my reference edge. I've also label this side my adjacent edge with my red lumber crayon and I'm ready to start laying out the post extension or repair for this post. Now as you can see I put the post over there I have the reference side and the adjacent side lined up so they're identical and that's so when I look at that from here I can see that the short end is going to be on this side, and then the long end is going to cut away over here. Uh, let me say that again. The short end is going to be on this side, and the long cutaway is going to be over here. So this is going to disappear with my cutaway. So I'll have to move it down. Okay, so I've got a knot over here, but if I start close to the end here, I can do my four inch cutaway for that fourth tongue, the fourth tenon. I, if I start over here close to the end, I can do my cutaway for the fourth tenon before I run into that knot. So the next thing I'm going to do is draw my end of timber lines. And I left my pencil way over there. Okay, so end of timber will be here, down here, and down here. I've created a drawing. Here's my reference edge. I can place the drawing right on the timber and see I have a four inch on this side cut away and then the long cut away over here. 
using my layout tape along the reference edge. I'm going to lay out all my lines right now. Using the layout tape along the reference edge, I'm going to lay out all my lines, my dimension lines, right now. So I have my tape set at zero. First line is at four inches. The second line is eight inches over. And the last line is four more inches. So there I am. I'm all done with my tape. From the end of timber to the shoulder for the stub tenon is 3 foot 11 and 5 sixteenths. Here's four foot, well before the crack. Oh, I've got plenty of wood. With my Al Bornman, my big Al, I'm going to lay out over to six and back. There's my first cutaway. Now, this timber being fresh sawn is not shrunk. Where this timber, being older, has shrunk down to seven and seven eighths. This timber is eight and maybe eight and an eight. So this gap or this cutaway is going to be more than two inches. But because it's square rule, it doesn't matter. My next line is at six inches and it comes up to this point. Four inches. My next line is at four inches and it comes up to this point. The last line is at two inches. And it comes up to this point. Now I can drop this line. Dropping a line means you draw, draw it vertically down, like you're going to drop your pencil. And I can drop this line. And again, I have three sides already drawn. And X out my waist. Not going to draw the end of ten, the tenon on the end of the timber yet, because I want to cut this end square first. But this will be waist here, and this will be waist here, and my tenon's going to come right down here. Bring my tick marks around so that when I roll the timber, I can have them to use to lay out the other side. I'm going to roll the timber over and lay out, begin to lay out the other side.